Hello team, my name is Talaman. Welcome back to Fragments of Euclid. I actually, I, I had said before in the last one that I kind of wanted to try and finish this out. And and I, I'm definitely um quite serious about that because I, I like the game a ton. I think it's a unique, very interesting um, like puzzle platformer. Um, but I do know that I'm not going to do this like all like right on camera. Um, there are going to be times where I'm going to have to take some minutes to like finish out like each section each part wait i need to do this um so i won't show you just everything but I'll at least like show you kind of the results the um stuff going into it what i'm learning about the game along the way and interesting points so let's get into it okay so real quick i'm gonna just check in we did get one like connection i think that there's four total that we we have seen that have to come and connect to the the original like kind of source so i have to complete each puzzle as we go and i need to rotate this environment by one so let's go this way so we just went through we did rotate the world because if i can climb back up yeah see there that one is activated and now we should be working kind of on the next one god this game is so cool because it, it, right it's a mind puzzle it messes with your brain so yeah now what was originally off to our right should now be oh kind of below us yeah so we rotate the view by one and now we have to go it looks like this way oh my god look at that okay so we're holy crap look look at what we're looking there it rotates it by 90 degrees that that view angle right there just goes like and it just flips it oh i had no idea oh okay just the last challenge before opening the gate holy crap look at me oh my god that's amazing Holy crap. That's so flippin' cool. Oh, oh? What? Holy crap. I, my mind is freaking. Okay, so right here, here's like a cube, and then if we go back through this one, here's this. Oh, and then each one like has different things going on that's amazing i mean not really like each one can be like tied to individual like like portals and like you know things things can obviously be easily manipulated kind of like that but you know to like select each one to go through it to the next environment is is unique it's different freaking cool so like that right because like the, the specific one was selected to be able to make it allow you to go through no surprise but you did it oh another mind twister holy crap okay so it's like you have to select the right ones to be able to go through are any of these me going directly towards it okay holy crap am I just supposed to Oh, jeez. That's freaking cool. I caught sight of this one. And there we go. I don't know. I'm just essentially wandering in the dark. Which is exactly what I just did. You... Yes. Second laser connected. You only need two now. And there's kind of where I came from. Which it's going to tell me I fell too far? No, it does not. Now we're going to go back, we're going to rotate the view one more time, we're going to keep going on the puzzle. Okay, so we should be at the next puzzle here. Um, we already did the majority of it, so I'm kind of wondering like what what I exactly missed. And I'm, I'm going to break the game for a minute here and dodge around. I did not go too far. That surprised me. I jumped. Um, I don't think I went too far. I don't know why... Oh... Oh, it like reset a bunch of stuff. Well, it's a different challenge, so we're gonna go in and try to figure this one out. This one, it looks like each puzzle is self-contained. So that's that's pretty straightforward, at least in that respect. Um, 
But th this one we've already seen. We tried it in the last video in the last kind of like episode thing. So it's going to take me a minute to, I think, work through some of it and find a solution. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, hey. So that was a lot of stuff that just happened. Hopefully I keyed it in a little bit before then. But basically down there, there's a gate, which me stepping on this portal would move. Kind of like that. Maybe you could have seen it catch right there. Basically, then it also releases this, allowing enough of the... Yeah. Yeah, because that... I think... Basically, yeah. Oh, because... That door is this door. This door, I dropped that cube off of. It rested, then it fell through, landed on this gate. By me stepping on it, it releases that gate there and allowed it to hit that, which then opens that door. That is linked to that, allowing whenever I can go find my way back. Yeah, because that's me walking through right there, which then, this is nuts. Oh, my mind. Allows me to go back into this room. You are nearly at the end. Okay. Holy crap. Alright, so now we're here. Now I can step on this one. It opens that door. Which I think should link to this door. So I need a cube. I need to go find a cube, and then I can hopefully activate it and everything can be hunky dory. Okay, I went backwards, found my cube. I carry it forwards from here in the puzzle, and we drop it off here. That unlocks now, oh, the portal through for some, wait, I don't need to go through. I need to send my cube through, my liaison. Okay, it's resting, it's ready to go. We drop it, it falls, it, God, that's nuts. So that one links to that door there to change the gravity direction to allow me through. And number three is connected. I can jump through that beam. Okay, third laser. Find the last one now. So that's what I'm off to go do. Last one. So we'll get to that last puzzle and then we'll check in and find out what we have to do. Alright, let me, let me just real quick take you back through like how crazy this is. So I ended up in this world. I thought I was on the right one, but obviously if we look, we see that one is connected. But to like rotate it, all oh, it's giving me chills, man. This game's nuts. You travel through, you see the next one, and it's connected, right? Because we were just on 90 degrees rotated. Um, if you rotate this counterclockwise, we were on that like platform, basically. So now if I go again, we rotate it clockwise by 90 degrees, which then we get to the, the darkened one. At least I think it's clockwise, right? Yeah, we rotate it clockwise. So then we're, we're on kind of that, that next one, which is right over there, which is not connected. And now I have to exit the rotation process go back right because like some games have you hit a button to rotate like the environment for example to make oh god almost fell um to, to make it to kind of that next area to work and to play in but this game forces you the character to move through the world in a unique way to get you to that next area which is this puzzle that we've already been working with for a while but basically oh the puzzle reset Oh, the puzzle did definitely reset. So I'm going to have to do some restructuring of like how this all works. And then I will be back and hopefully get it all sorted. Number two. And here goes number three. All right, we're in. We should be kind of at the, the next part of what I'm supposed to do. I would expect I need to get the world rotated to allow me to walk through that portal up top there. So that's going to take some finagling. I have no idea how to do it. I, I really i am kind of slightly at a loss. Other than, can I grab more cubes? Right? Like, does another cube help me with my, with my job? I have no idea. Maybe. Oh, do I? Wait. Maybe. If I put this here, can I now take off the cubes? Walk back through, drop that there, 
I don't think that did anything. All right, give me a minute to work on this. Okay, okay, I should. Okay, if I hopefully looped in like the last bit of video before I'm like commentating now because you, you will have wanted to see that. Basically, I was standing up there. I was able to jump down through and that of course changed my gravity orientation allowing me to walk through this door. Oh, which still leaves me at... I, for some reason, thought that solved the puzzle, but it didn't, so I'm going to keep working. Okay, so basically the solution was to just grab all the boxes, create your own parkour map, and parkour your way up to the top, and then you can go through, and I'm giving myself chills just because this is like it, this is like the, the big... I don't like horror games. Oh, that's ser oh, okay. Yes, the gate is open. Now go back to it. So, join me now as we go. Oh, God, I'm getting so many goosebumps. Like, oh, this is crazy. Ah! Ah! Oh, my God. Um, yeah, I'll just go all the way. I'll walk back. I won't, like, hit restart or anything in case that messes up the map orientation or the, the positions of any of these uh, junctures. So, let's go all the way back. Back we go to discover the secret. I don't think you need to transfer, but you might. I just hope not. Because basically, I I hope maybe? Maybe I'm allowed to... Oh, God. Nope. I need to rotate the map once at least. So I'm going to go do that real quick. Totally mistaken. We should be at the correct orientation now to be able to walk through. Come up. And now we are on the flattened level. Which means that the portal door, big door, is open. I am now here. The game is obviously implying to me. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Oh, so many chills. Okay, down through. Down through, down through. No, no jump scares. Please, no jump scares. I'm not into them. Whew, Euclid. Okay, well, we filed through, and now we're here. Now, a set of doors. Can I just... Oh, no, it doesn't even allow you to jump over the edge. This is it. <sighs> That's freaking awesome. That's real cool. That's real cool. Oh! Hot damn! Oh, ha, 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 ha. You made it. I did. Holy crap. That's so cool. I am Euclid. It's nice to finally meet you. Oh my god. To be continued freaking brilliant game holy crap i cannot like that is exceptional i am almost in tears because like i don't like i'm not like absolutely crying but like it it gave me so many like feelings all the way through that ending like excitement thrilled um proud i'm proud of like the accomplishment of me being able to like play through it and, like that's really a good quality in a game um that ending was really satisfying because we we saw like this crazy cool like appearance of not necessarily a monster but like somebody who's been guiding you kind of from the background and then the idea of transferring through planes in such a way like that was just brilliant like him grabbing me by using a portal attached to an arm freaking phenomenal phenomenal job i i'm Oh, I want to go play more games like this. That, that's super, super cool. Okay, that is all the time. Like, okay, level design, great. Execution, really, really good. Once I, like, took a minute to, like, step back to actually just play through each one, think through it, it, it flowed really smoothly. Like, I got done with this ha second half here in, like, 27 minutes of recording. Like, solid, solid game. Um, Really, really good job. I, I'm absolutely blown away like i'm definitely gonna put this on my watch list for like more content coming out because like wow excellent job nusan if i'm saying that right i hope i am go play for yourself highly recommend it download it give them props give give the author like good stuff because this i had a good time i i hope you guys did too thank you so much for watching i'll have to catch you guys in another video thank you bye, -bye for now